When I was little, the best thing you could be was a white person. You didn't have a care in the world. You could go anywhere, do anything. No one could stop you. It's just the way it was. But you don't stay little forever. And the world has a way of changing real fast. The way it was, don't really cut it no more. And then you start having to reconcile with the past. All right. All right, I'll, I'll make arrangements and head down first thing tomorrow, if that's okay. didn't get rid of much over the years, huh? <laughs> she surely did not. She surely did not. Hold on a second. Let me see what's taking Ella so long. Ella? Tara's here. Who's here? Tara's here. Where you at, woman? <laughs> you know, I feel so bad about what happened to your mama. She was like a mother to me. Thank you, Walter. You've been such a good friend to this family over the years. I, I don't know. I don't know what we would do without you. Walter, I mean, what were you going on about? I can't hear nothing up in that attic. Tara Hines, as I live and breathe. What you doing down here? That big city job of yours don't need you no more? Well, Walter called and said you could use some help settling up Mama's things, so I came up early. Oh, we were doing just fine. I must look a fright, though. You should have called the head. Now, Ella, I told you she was coming down today. But I guess with all that's been going on, it must have slipped your mind. Well, you're here now. You're lucky you caught me. I'm always in and out of town these days. Got so much going on. Now, if you two don't mind, you're in my workspace. Nice to see you again, too, Ella. <laughs> and again, thank you, Walter. Mama was a fighter. I remember when we lost Daddy, you just, you just stepped up and helped us when you could, even when she got up in years. <laughs> Meant a lot to her. <laughs> like you even know how Mama felt. When was the last time you come around again? You are not one to judge me, Ella. She was my mother, too. She knew how much I loved her. She sure was lucky to have you as a daughter now, wasn't she? I mean, taking time out of your life to take care of her and all? No, wait. That wasn't you, was it? Okay, ladies, it's gonna be like this the whole time because I don't need this. You don't need this? You come up in Mama's house disrespecting her and sitting up here like you all high and mighty? You are the last person to be talking to me about disrespect. Ladies, please. Not in your Mama's house. Not where she raised y'all. Now, I've known y'all had y'all differences, and it ain't my place to speak on it. But can't you be sisters for two days? For your mama? Mama put most of her property papers up in the attic. I was going to bring them down. You can go through them and see what's what. Sure. I'd be happy to. I'll get started on what you got over there in the meantime. Sisters, what does that even mean? When we were growing up, you couldn't separate us. 
Life was so different then. Look, that's that scarecrow. Daddy says not to go no further. Last one to touch it loses. Ella, come back! Don't! Are you crazy? Daddy said not to go anywhere near that thing. Why not? I'm not afraid of it. We ain't even that colored. Old Man Lewis said I was the whitest dark thing he'd ever seen. Old Man Lewis always talking noise. You know we're not supposed to be near that scarecrow. Sheriff might think we ought to mess it up. Daddy says we got a little bit of white in us. From way back anyways, let's just touch it real quick before anybody sees us. Tara! Ella! Do Daddy! It. Mama! Well, I told y'all girls not to be playing around that tree. Anybody could have seen you. Ella, listen to what your daddy's saying. Why we gotta stay out though, Daddy? We only part colored, so we should be able to go to town too. Honey, the world doesn't work that way. I mean, we're just as colored as a little Walter boy that keeps hanging around out there. And what your mom was trying to say is some folk don't know how to appreciate special people. And you two are special, my special baby girls. And you don't want to go into that town no way, only stuck up folk live there anyhow. <laughs> <laughs> when Daddy died, nothing else made sense. The good days were gone, and the bad just kept on finding us. Hey, I saw you. You know you're not supposed to be in there. The sign said whites only. Your bathroom is around the corner. Yeah, whites only. But I just couldn't hold it no more. It was just for a second. Well, didn't you hear her? Color bathrooms around the corner. She thinks she's special or something. Use your own bathroom. Hey, didn't you hear her? It was only for a second. Don't you backsass her, you dirty mutt. Dirty mutts, the both of them. Dirty mutts. Dirty mutts. Dirty mutts. Dirty mutts. Dirty mutts. Dirty mutts. That was stupid. That was so stupid. Why did you do that? I thought I could go real fast. There ain't no one around when I went in. How about when you was coming out? We wasn't even supposed to be in town. I figured if I walk right, people would think I was a white girl. You still playing at that? I said, are you still playing at that? You ain't white, Ella. You ain't never gonna be white. Why not? Look at me. Look at my hair, Tara. Look at my face. You know we got a little bit of white in us. Who's to say I just don't have a little more? You remember what Daddy said, right? Before he took that trip with all those people? He said we gotta stay strong. Show him that we ain't gonna take being treated like this no more. Yeah, and that got him killed. They burned that bus all around him with all his friends. I'm tired of getting picked on. I'm tired of having to take these damn train tracks halfway around town to get home. Their bathrooms had toilet paper, Tara, and the bubbly soap. Tech that gets all over your hands. Why you want to be a part of them so bad? They hate us, Ella. To them, we ain't nothing but niggas. That's all we ever gonna be. The sooner you get that straight, the better. All things are wearisome, more than one can say. The eye never has enough of seeing, nor the ear its fill of hearing. What has been will be again. What has been done will be done again. There is nothing new under the sun. Is there anything of which one can say, look, this is something new. It was here already long ago. It was here before our time.
Take it easy, okay? You do the same. Seeing Tara again, the way it was, don't really cut it no more. And then you're forced to reconcile with past transgressions. The year they sent us to that white school in Madison County, everything changed. New school, new friends. It was a chance to be a whole new me. No, you're late. Ever since we started this new school, you've forgotten how to tell time. What if they had seen you? What's one more lie on top of the minds of lies you living right now, Ella Hines? Dang, I think I left my book at school. How long you think it's gonna be before they find out you ain't as white as you pretending to be? Who's to say this ain't who I really am? God, you're dumber than I thought. Oh, yeah? Well, Bobby Ray asked me to the soda shop after school today, and I went straight into the front door, and they gave me my soda right there at the counter. Now what do you think? You must be dumber than a bag of rocks to want to hang out with him. You're just jealous. Jealous of what? Jealous of you? What if I told Mama what you've been doing? You promised me you wouldn't. One day those so-called friends of yours are going to find out who you really are. Then what? What are you going to do then? Hi. I still had your book, so we came back to give it to you. We heard yelling. Y'all okay? I'm fine. Thanks, Bobby Ray. This girl, my daddy used to know her dad, so we kind of know each other. We're fine. It's all fine. Hey, you yelling at her? You better know her place. Nigger, look at me while I'm talking to you. She's leaving. It's fine. No harm done. I know her. It's that uppity Negro that's always starting stuff at school. Oh, is that right? <clears throat> you gonna throw rocks at me, huh? Like I'm some sort of dog? Who do you think you are? What are you doing? I tried to take it back so many times, but it wasn't too long before Tara moved up north to finish school. We didn't speak much after that, and I can't say I blame her. Sometimes, a wound never fully healed.